All right, today we are going to start the lungs project. So you're going to get yourself a piece of paper. And the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half. So we want it um, just a little crease down the middle. And that's going to kind of help you realize that you're going to have one lung on the right side and one lung on the left side. And your trachea is going to go down here in the center. So like everything else, we are going to start with putting our name in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to put Mrs. Howard because that's my name. You are going to put your first name and last initial. And then you're going to put your home room number. My home room is room 111. So you need to know your home room number. If you are Mrs. Girardi's homeroom, you're 114. If you're Mr. Anderton's homeroom, you're 113. If you're Mrs. Lanchek's room, you're room 112. If you're Mr. Wilson's room, you're room 110. Mrs. Bombeck's room is room 109. And Mrs. Howard's room is 111. So you have to have these two things on your project so that I know who to give the grade to. No name, no room number. I don't know what I'm doing because you are one of a million fifth grade kids running around out there. All right, so we've gotten our thing down the center. Now let me show you what our final project is going to look like. So our final project is going to look similar to this. It is going to have a trachea. It's going to have the bronchi branching off of the trachea. It is going to have two lungs that are each about the size of your hand. And then we are going to list um, the words bronchi, trachea, bronchioles, and alveoli. Here's another example of one that I made last year as a sample. So this is what the ultimate project is going to look like when you are done. So let's start here with what we've got in the center of our paper. For me, the easiest way to draw it, I mean, you don't have to draw it this way. This is just the way that I see it. It's kind of doing these little um, big ovals down the middle. And then it makes like a Y. So I'm just drawing a Y, an upside down Y off of there. And then I'm making these more circular. Okay, so we've got our trachea and we've got our bronchi. Now, my lung is going to be about the size of my hand. So if I'm not sure what to do, I can kind of go around it and think of them as giant elephant ears. Big backward C's. If you don't like what you have, then you erase and you fix it up. So you're not going over this in pen until you have it all figured out. Then from here, we're going to branch off and they're like branches of a tree. All right, so we've got our branches throughout our lungs. And then at the end of each one of these, we're going to have our alveoli, which are kind of like grapes. Some of them I'm going to give only three little grapes to. Some of them I'm going to give more, depending on how much room I have. All right, so I'm gonna get those drawn in both lungs. And then after I have that drawn, I am going to outline everything that I have drawn in marker or in dark crayon. So I'm gonna go around it dark. Then let's go back to our project that we had done before. It needs to be colored in neatly. So on your very first day, you should have everything drawn and hopefully pretty close to being colored. Now. I just picked a color that I found appealing and that I had crayons for. So I went around everything in marker and then I'm coloring it in with crayon. So I don't want you coloring in with marker. I did do the bronchioles in marker just because they're thin tubes. And at the end of this, here you can see my other one. At the end of these, my alveoli, I colored in, um, went around with marker. 
Then the last thing that you're going to do is you have to list bronchioles. They're small tubes that run through the lungs. You're going to write it very neatly. And I have pens if you're here in class that you're going to use for this. If you're at home and you don't have a pen to do your writing with, then you can go ahead and just use pencil. Trachea attaches at the back of the throat, taking air to the lungs. Bronchi, two tubes that branch off the trachea to the lungs. And finally, alveoli, tiny air sacs at the end of the bronchioles. And I want to add something to that just because I'm, I'm not happy with what's there. Um, so tiny air sacs at the end of the bronchioles covered in capillaries. have it barely on there. Okay, covered in capillaries. Because the alveoli are actually where the air is going to get exchanged into the blood system and the blood system is going to bring back carbon dioxide. So it's all of those capillaries on the outside of the alveoli where everything is happening. And then you do need the title. I didn't have any room to put it up at the top, so I put it down at the bottom. But that's going to go on there nice and colorful. So here's what you're going to get graded on. Is it done neatly? Have you colored it in neatly? It shouldn't look like a maniac colored it in. You're given two class days for this, so there's no reason that it's going to take you uh, two seconds to get it done. Do a nice job. You only have four words. You're going to underline the words, and you are going to write the definitions. You can copy right off of here. I just got them out of your book. You need a title, and of course, you need your name and your home room.